We are Odd Doll. We create highly visual puppetry theatre set to live music for all audiences. We also design and build our own puppets. We are associate artists with Cast in Doncaster and Harrogate Theatre and we're produced by Little Mighty. We have just begun research and development on our fourth production for Small Scale Touring and we're really excited because this is a real progression from our previous work. Our new show, Seaside Terror, is inspired by classic British horror films made for audiences 12 plus. We've been working with a team of horror experts, physical performers and musicians to really develop the narrative, the visual ideas and the characters. We've been really getting an idea of how horror works and the typical elements that occur within that. For example, revenge, the transformative, the relentless killing monster and the uncanny. We're really inspired by the British horror films by Amicus and Hammer. These were made in the 60s and 70s and for us this era has a real sense of nostalgia, our childhoods and it ain't like it used to be, you know, the great British experience and of course the seaside holiday. By the early 80s this British horror film industry was declining and so was the popularity of the seaside holiday and we were really interested in these seaside towns that were becoming abandoned, really creepy places, that sense of once loved and now forgotten. So we decided to set the show in a seaside town. Made within a portmanteau style of many stories within a larger frame story, our audience will find themselves sat on deck chairs around an outdated ice cream van. The ice cream man will introduce us to some of the strange goings on in the town. Stories such as the evil seagull, the curse of the 2P machine, zombie donkeys and bingo hairballs. In terms of the music, the influences we're putting together are um, 70s schlock horror movie soundtracks, all the suspenseful orchestral stuff written by composers, very quite, quite complex, and then the more <laughs> moody, synthy, uh, here comes the monster stuff as well, and then a bunch of found sounds to reflect the seaside setting as well, so arcade machines and the seagulls and stuff. The idea being that kind of suspenseful, creepy stuff can be added to action-specific movements for puppets, because that looks great with puppetry. Seaside Terror will be touring autumn and winter 2017 to studio spaces, but also creepy places around your town, dark car parks and abandoned buildings, and we want to work with you to make this happen. Our set will have completely integrated lighting and sound, so it's really flexible and can go anywhere. Perfect for festivals. We want to give our audiences a fun fright. Mm -hmm.